My name is Jay Stroud. I'm the operations manager. So my background over the past 30 years has been in manufacturing and in the automotive sector. I've always been involved with small to medium sized business. You know, in anything that's a startup, I like the change of pace. I like, you know, a company that's nimble. We don't have a lot of red tape that we have to go through. We can, you know, talk about a decision that we want to make, make the decision and then put it into action. What intrigued me about this was it was a technology that I was not very familiar with. I mean, I come from the ice side of things. So the EV space was new. Basically, I was uh, involved with, with a race shop at a local track here and, and Matt, who's the CEO of the company, was a, was a member and investor in the company that I was working for. Where I went on to do some other things and then Matt kind of reached out to me a little bit later and you know said, we got an opportunity here, we're growing. Would you like to come have a discussion and see what we have to offer? So we sat down and talked about it. It was right in my wheelhouse. It was something that was society. And I think that's the thing I love about the job every day is because it's, it's something new every day. If we get everything done that we need to do, there's always more to do, right? Because we're trying to grow, we're trying to expand. Fast moving company, you know, what our customers want, they're never standing still, you know, they're building. Um, so there's always stuff to do and always stuff to work on. I'd say primarily the most important thing that I have to focus on is the inventory that is coming in. We've got a lot of items, you know, that have long lead times that come from overseas. Making sure all the components come in, that we've got our assembly straight. We look at our production schedule and our forecast to make sure we can take all of that and build it into kits that turn into systems that we're shipping out to customers. It's not only just making sure that the physical product there, uh, a lot of what I have to do as well as interface with the engineering team as well as the customers. Typically when an order comes in we know that we've got the inventory in here to, to, to ship it but then we also have configuration that we have to do right. There are certain components in our system where your different options that you choose you know in the system that you're going to implement. Um, so there's some interaction with the customer just trying to make sure we nail down what those options are. Uh, making sure they have a good understanding of everything they're getting. If there is something special or customization or something unique that the customer is asking for, then I'm usually interfacing with the engineers because typically it's something technical. Look at how it fits into the schedule and then put it all together, handle all the logistics to get it to the customer, make sure it's going to the right place, right? Might not be going to where their facility is. It could be going to another installer or something like that. And just making sure that whole process goes smoothly and then following up on the back end with the customers, make sure they got everything, they received it, everything was intact, right, during the, the journey to them. You know, kind of the operations side, I see it as, you know, it's the center, kind of the heart of the organization, right, that feeds out to the engineers or the brains, right, the R&D and all that kind of stuff. And assemblies, kind of your arms and your legs that are doing the work, right? Operations is kind of the heart that's pumping the blood throughout the organization. So we're kind of in the center of it and we're interfacing with all the other aspects. The biggest challenge was learning. You know, I knew when I first started here, it'd probably take about two months to kind of get my feet under me and understand everything. You know, you've got a, you've got a product line, you got a certain number of, you know, down to little pins and stuff, just the understanding. You know, the ghost car display that we use at the trade shows helped me because that's what they use to kind of trade, to, to train me, right? Okay, here's all the components, here's what they do. We're cutting edge technology with systems that are constantly changing. And so as you grow and you've got customer demand, there's certain limitations, right? You develop a system a certain way because you have to bring something to market and have something that's going to work, which we've got. We've got a turnkey solution that works. But like anything, you've always got customers that can it do this, can it do that. A good example is analog gauges, right? So I'm 52 years old. Running a touch screen for me is not as easy as it is for a 20 year old or a 30 year old, right? And I'm kind of old fashioned. I like knobs and I like switches. So one of the feedback we were getting is, you know, we need analog gauges, we need switches, and just the ability to be able to take that engineering integrate it, be able to go out there and pick and choose the gauges that we want to use. Like, hey, we want to get something cool, something that's going to pop, something that's going to fit in. Being able to pick those, you know, having the engineers and the skill sets here to integrate that into our system and then being able to turn that into a product offering or a feature. Being nimble like we are, we can implement that with just a few meetings, having the engineers spend some time to get it hooked up, integrate it in our system and then rock and rolling with it. So, you know, I'm at the latter stages of my work career to a certain degree. Being able to help build a company 
company up. It, I wouldn't be here if I didn't believe in the company and where we were trying to get and what we were trying to accomplish. I also wouldn't be here if I wasn't able to provide that feedback and that it was um, at least considered in decisions that we're making in order to grow forward. So you also have the benefit of, you know, it's more than just a job, right? We're trying to build something here. And we're trying to build something special and it's something that we believe in. Being a valuable part of that team and being able to provide the input of, hey, you know, what about this or we thought about this? And it, it, it's hard to find that kind of opportunity somewhere. So being able to provide leadership because we got young guys that we're able to mentor, right? I mean, they've got great skill sets, but you know, I've got some gray hair and have seen some things. So if you're considering an EV conversion kit, you know, at least give us a look. I mean, I think we've got a solid product. We've got one that's, uh, that's ready to ship. You know, we take the quality of our product serious. We take our customer relationship seriously. We want to grow with our customers. We take the feedback that they provide seriously. I believe in what we're doing here. So if this is an, an area that somebody's interested in getting into, give us a call, swing by, take a look, test drive one of our vehicles, talk to our customers, and just, I'd say give it consideration because we've got a great product and it's only getting better.